Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a few different websites that pay you $20 per hour to do different things via PayPal. One of them is called callcenterqa.org. This is a company that pays you to do mystery shopping. And what you can do is get paid $5 per mystery phone call that you do where basically you gauge different things related to customer support for a company or the experience of buying something with a company and things like that and then they gather data on these companies based on how their customer experience is and you don't need any experience to apply for this you can get paid 30 to 60 dollars per hour because you do five dollars per five to ten minute phone call that you do on the behalf of the company so of course you're going to need plenty of volume of calls to make 30 to 60 dollars per hour but Again, each call is only five to 10 minutes and you have flexible hours. You can work whenever you want and then you can get $5 for each of those five to 10 minute calls. Next, you have Cambridge proofreading and editing services. You can help them with these services and get paid 20 to $25 per hour by going to proofreading.org. And you can sign up by going to their menu section right there at the top and then scrolling down to the about section then going to careers slash jobs and then here you will notice that they pay twenty to twenty five dollars per hour if you have a degree from a good university and if you have you know a PayPal account they will pay you twice monthly for your services and you also need to be a native English speaker have an exceptional exceptional understanding of the English language again you're doing proofreading and editing so you'll need to be someone with probably a writing background or something like that but they do want you to have at least a bachelor's degree from a respected university, although they don't say that it has to be any kind of English or writing related type of uh, degree. So preferred candidates would have an advanced university qualifications like a master's or doctor degrees and uh, expertise in STEM, business, economics, education, and computer science, and things like that. Plus, you can make your own schedule and kind of work when you want as long as you get the amount of work done that you're supposed to get done. Next, you can do some tutoring in different school subjects for Chegg tutors. You can go to chegg.com slash tutors to check out the company, and they pay you around $20 per hour. They pay you on a weekly basis, and again, you're tutoring specific school subjects that you're qualified to tutor people in. So maybe if you're a recent college student, you took some of these classes, or you have a teaching degree or something like that then you would be qualified to probably teach a lot of these so you will work with middle and high school college or professional level students so pretty much middle school and up and you don't have to work with you know small kids or anything like that but you build a profile you build a reputation um, they also have different apps for tutoring as well but um, you can do most of it via things like video chat and stuff like that. Then you have uh, Rev.com, which includes transcription and video editing type of jobs. They have three main things that they specialize in. If you go to Rev.com slash freelancers, you can see what three jobs you can get here. So one is a transcriptionist. You're taking audio files and transcribing them into text, typing them out. You will need a pretty fast word per minute typing speed for these types of jobs. Captioning's the next one where you watch a video and then you transcribe what you hear into text but then you also have to sync it with the video so that it comes up as it's being spoken in the video so that's captioning and then you have subtitling which is very similar to captioning except you're translating the text part into a different language so that's the one that pays the most so as far as pay goes a dollar fifty to three dollars per audio or video minute for subtitling fifty four cents to a dollar ten per audio or video minute with captioning at three and thirty cents to a dollar ten per audio or video minute with transcriptioning transcription so as far as what pays the most subtitling of course and it depends on how much you get paid per hour of just work is going to depend on how fast you are how fast you can type and sync these videos together so then you have we go look we go look is basically a way for you to make money by helping people look at something sometimes this is looking up something on the internet and evaluating it maybe you have certain skills in a certain area like maybe you know maybe you used to be a car salesman you know a lot about cars maybe you used to be a mechanic or something like that or maybe you used to be 
you know, something else that, or maybe you used to be like a real estate agent or something and you know what to look for in a, in a home listing so you can help somebody look for a good home and actually know what details to look for. Uh, maybe you know a lot about inspections or things like that, or maybe what kind of things people might be hiding in home listings. Those are just a couple of random examples of what you might do with WeGo Look. So WeGoLook.com, what you want to do is go to uh, become a looker or just go straight to WeGoLook.com slash lookers, and you're going to get paid to either look at something in person or look at something on the Internet and give your opinion and evaluate it. So 15 to $200 per job, each job usually doesn't take that long. It's like 15 to 20 minutes usually on average. And then as far as what most jobs average, 15 to $30 per job. So you're making well over that $20 per hour for a lot of these. You get paid via direct deposit or PayPal, and you will usually do one of four things. You will inspect, assess, document, or deliver something. And all you need is a smartphone. It is worldwide. And other than that, you do need to pass a background check as well. But as far as other things you're going to need, that's about it. But you will inspect things either online or in person for people depending on their needs. So you can kind of read more about that at wegolook.com slash lookers. Another tutoring site that pays really well is studypool.com. They claim you can make as much as $7,500 a month via PayPal with this site. And of course, similar to Chegg, you'll be educating people on mostly academic related related subjects you'll be answering different questions specifically for homework or for a concept explaining a concept for somebody who's taken a certain class or something like that you do have flexible hours as well and as far as how much you keep what whatever you charge for these types of answers and this type of tutoring um, you keep 80 percent and then study pool keeps the other 20 percent so that they can keep their business running and that's how it works. But all you got to do is go to the top right, click become a tutor, and then you can apply here and earn as much as $7,500 a month working from home doing tutoring of all sorts. And you can also see some examples of how much people will pay just to answer a certain question or uh, how much top earners have made well over $450,000 for like the top earner here. And uh, you can see all the different types of subjects people are asking questions in and all of that before you apply. Then you have something like validately.com. This is a place where you can get paid to test apps and websites. So you get paid as much as $100 per test that you do here. You get paid via PayPal. They work with a lot of major companies like Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Plus you get paid within seven business days of collecting your money. So again, it's on both computer and mobile. So you might do apps, you might do websites. It could be on different devices. You do need to be 18 years of age or older to apply to do this, and that's about it. That's pretty much what you're going to be doing. Just go to validately.com slash panel. That's where you actually sign up, and then you start taking tests, and then you get paid for doing that. They'll also answer a few more questions like you do have to use Google Chrome. You will need high-speed Internet access. You will need a computer with microphone to join the panel and a PayPal account because that's how you get paid. And as far as the full range of what you can make, about 10 to $70 is what most of them pay. And then occasionally you might get one that's like $100 or so. And then last but not least is one that's very similar to Validately, which is called user testing. You also test websites and apps with this program. And what you do is you do a test. It's usually 20 minutes long. You might watch a video about something or you might just click around on the website or the app yourself and then you evaluate it. They have kind of a uh, you know multiple choice type of thing you might answer and then you earn $10 for every 20 minute test you do on average. They can pay up to $60 per test depending on what you're doing and some of them might actually have you speak using a microphone with your computer and give your thoughts that way. So just make sure you have some sort of way to speak um, while doing these jobs, just like you could with Validately. You also need to be 18 years of age or older, and it does allow you to take tests worldwide, and they use a lot of different major companies like CBS, Wayfair, and Facebook. So other than that, those are a few different websites that pay you really well via PayPal, at least $20 per hour, and I will see you in the next video.